Hey guys, Shelby Jones from Jones for CrossFit again. Okay, so I told you we were gonna come back and try to hit some of those trouble spots. One of the biggest trouble spots that I know of, the calf. Okay, if you don't have range of motion in your ankles, that's pretty much gonna kill your squat. So we're gonna show you some ways to kind of get through that, try to get that ankle mobility working for you instead of against you. Go ahead and check this out. Okay, guys and gals, so this, this, is, uh, this is gonna be the barbell calf smash. Um, it's not, not gonna lie, it's, it's not the most pleasant uh, mobility to do, but it's one of the most effective. So we're gonna go through that. Um, this is something that you would do after a warm up in the gym. You should have already gone through a little warm up so your muscles have more blood flowing through the tissue. It's warmed up, it's ready to move. Okay, so you don't wanna do this cold. Um, we wanna start with the barbell directly underneath, or on top of the heel, sorry, right above the heel. Um, so we're gonna start working our way up you want to work all the way up to where the soleus and gastroc meet right here. Um, and you'll be able to feel that. Um, and then really kind of putting a little bit of pressure as much as, as you can stand on that leg and then just rolling it back and forth. Okay, so what you're looking for here is it should be smooth. It should feel like silk. Um, if you have any, any ropey tissue, anything like that, any painful spots, you really need to spend more time there and really work on getting it getting that tissue to move, getting that tissue to be less, less painful. Um, if you don't have a super friend, which is what I'm doing right now, I'm helping Tony kind of put pressure where she wouldn't be able to and then really hit those spots. Um, if you don't have somebody there to help you, you can actually cross your foot right over where you have that, that other foot on the bar and you could rock back and forth just like I was doing. Um, that's not as effective as having somebody there doing it for you, obviously. Uh, you're not as inclined to inflict pain on yourself as other people are okay with. <laughs> okay, so um, just moving up, once you get up to a little bit meatier part right here, um, going back and forth, we don't move in, in any certain plane. Like we always move, you know, left, right, lateral. Um, so you wanna be sure that you're trying to get every part of this muscle. So if you're just, just working right here, you're, you're missing, you know, the lateral and medial tissue. So you want to be sure that you roll over to the side, tack down that tissue, put some weight on that leg, and then take your foot through that range of motion. Okay, big circles, big movement. So you're tacking down the tissue, and then you're taking that tissue through that range of motion. Trying to get all that stuff untacked, unglued, and moving properly again. Okay, so going in one direction, you want to go in the opposite direction, roll to the outside, and repeat. Okay, so remember, pay attention to those areas that don't feel good, that are ropey. Uh, you wanna spend a little bit more time there, okay? So you wanna work all the way up until you get up to here to really work on that heel cord. You can go all the way up, working each side, um, and that will help out with your ankle range of motion, which in turn will help you with your squats. Okay guys and gals, so what we're gonna go through here um, is, is basically rolling out the thoracic spine. If you have tight muscles back there, if they're not working properly, uh, rolling them out will get them moving, unglued, uh, and, and hopefully help you keep your chest up in the bottom of the squat if that's, that's a problem area for you. Um, set up uh, on the roller, you get started, just go ahead and put the roller in the middle of your back. You can start with your hips on the ground um, to get situated. Build that pressure, lift the hips up, and then you're gonna roll down. So the roller is gonna go towards the top of your back. Um, you notice Tony has her arms up in the air right here. That's gonna pull the scaps away from the spine, exposing the rhomboids and the traps. And that's really kind of what we wanna target. Go ahead and roll back up. There we go. Okay, so doing about 10 to 15 passes uh, will help out. You can also roll to one side. Uh, if one side hurts more than the other, I would suggest rolling on each side independently. Um, you'll get more out of it that way. You have more body weight on that side and you're gonna get, get more out of it. Um, so this, if, if you do this on the daily, will help uh, keep your shoulder blades back, keep that chest up. So if you do this along with the, uh, the ankle mub, uh, you should have pretty good looking squats. Um, still a couple other spots to talk about. We'll hit that later on. Uh, if your chest is tight, shoulders rounding, weak core, anything like that, but just stay tuned and we'll be sure to hit that later joining us for those, uh, that couple of mobility, mobility wads right there. So be sure to go ahead and hit those every day, 
uh, whenever you can before you squat. Make sure you put them to work. If you don't work it, it's not going to work. Okay. Uh, thanks for joining us again. Check us out at jonesforcrossfit.com. Shelby Jones signing off. And remember, make every rep count.